With Trace's passion for baking and Trevor's passion for classic cars, we both decided to quit our day jobs and buy a 60-year-old van and convert it into a mobile cake and coffee van. Please subscribe and follow us on our journey while we trade at markets, fairs and events alongside our regular pitch at a local farm shop. And we'll also show you a bit of what we do in between trading. As it's Christmas Eve, tomorrow we're going to spend the day with our son, so I'm going to make a Biscoff cheesecake, which is so easy to make, and I'll run through the recipe and you can follow it. I've got 125 grams of unsalted butter just melting there, eventually, and I'm just going to blitz 300 grams of the Biscoff biscuits, but you could use digestives if you wanted, but we'll go with the whole hog today as it's Christmas. Okay, I'll just tip that back into there so that we can um, add the melted butter to it. Pull that in there, just mix it in. That's it, just so it's all covered in butter. Fine. And then I'm just going to pop it in the tin. So I've got the tin ready, I've sprayed it with um, some spray, grease spray, and then I've lined it with parchment paper, just makes it a lot easier to get the cheesecake out. So I'm going to tip the crumbs in, so they flatten down. I find one of the measuring cups, really good. So you can press down all the way around them. And you want to press it down really well, and that will make it stay together when you cut into it. Just work your way around. Oops. That's pretty good. That's fine. I'm just going to pop this in the fridge now for 10 minutes just to firm up a bit while I make the filling. I'm going to make the filling now so I need 500 grams of cream cheese and you need to make sure it's the full fat cream cheese as it will not work. Just get that in there. Oh, look at that bit of foil. icing sugar. This one goes absolutely everywhere so I need to be really careful. So I have 100 grams of icing sugar. Okay, 100 grams. And then I need 250 grams of the Biscoff spread and you can use crunchy or smooth, whatever one you want. Come off the spoon. There we go, 250. I'm just gonna use my whisk 
to whisk those ingredients together just until they're smooth and on quite a low speed to start with. Okay. Literally just until it's combined. You don't want to over whip it as you'll end up with the cream cheese going quite soft and could cause problems. So then we're going to add 300 ml of double cream. just slightly over today but never mind and then I'm going to whisk that slowly again until it's really thick and creamy really thick now you see and that's kind of it so I'm just going to give it one more quick whisk around to make sure I've got all of the bits that were around the edge I just sort of wiped it around with my spatula I'm going to pop the filling now onto the biscuit base and chill it for about five hours and then I can decorate it a little bit with some cream I've got a bit of extra biscoff spread I'm going to put on it and some biscuits just to finish it off. I'm just going to smooth this all out now and then I can pop it in the fridge. It looks lovely. It's so, so easy to make. had about five hours in the fridge. I've taken off the mould now and I've warmed some Biscoff up just in the microwave for about 30 seconds and I popped it into a piping bag. I'm just going to snip the end off so I can drizzle it over there. I'll just do that quickly now. And I've also whipped some cream up, just some double cream. Oh gosh, it came out quicker than I thought. Just pop that over there like that. I don't think there's too much, that's the thing, there's too much biscoff really. Okay. Just let it run down the edges a bit, I think. In this bag is double cream that I've whisked up until it's quite stiff. I'm just going to pipe around now, just to make it look quite nice, hopefully. on that's all piped on now and then when we're going to eat it just before we're going to eat it I'm going to pop some of the biscoff biscuits across it all the way around into the cream I'm going to leave that until we're ready to eat it so they don't go soggy and I've also in this little bag here made some crumbs biscoff biscuit biscuit crumbs and I'm just going to sprinkle those over there too just for a bit hopefully really not You can also follow The Baking Bird UK on Facebook and on Instagram.